The journey is so far. We set out to explore more of Japan using our 21 day Japan Rail Pass and have covered over 1,000 kilometers. Our journey started from Tokyo, where we set off on the Shinkansen bullet train and made our way down to the city of Shizuoka and got up and close to Mount Fuji. From Shizuoka, we made our way to Osaka, which we called home for the next seven days. Took a day trip to Kyoto, made a local friend, and headed over to Nara to play with the politest deer we've ever seen. We then traveled to Hiroshima where we paid our respects and made a day trip over to the island of Miyajima which is rated one of the three best places to visit in Japan. It was well worth it. Our final leg south was to the city of Fukuoka which would mark our turnaround point and today we head back up north on an 8 hour journey to the city of Utsunomiya. This would be the beginning of our journey up north where we will eventually end up in Sapporo Hokkaido. Let's get on with the vlog. So today is going to be our longest train ride day today, the blood train ride. Then go all the way to Nico, traveling from Fukuoka. So it should take around seven to eight hours by train, but if you were to drive, it would take almost 17 hours. Yeah, that's fair. Enough. Yeah, so it totally cuts the time in half and more. Uh, but still, still a long day uh, after the new transfers. Mm -hmm. uh, transfer in Osaka. Uh, and then one in Tokyo. Tokyo, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah we should be at our destination. But uh, yeah, today's going to be a whole travel day. We'll kind of show you guys around, but then uh, we'll catch you guys again. So, From of the uh, Taobin in Thailand kind of show you the little uh, animation it's being made right now Red bean paste or different other flavors. Seem has 
It's supposed to have strawberry in there. Yeah, I believe yeah. it's fresh strawberry too. Mm -hmm. And mine may just have the red bean paste, but I usually like this. Yeah, yeah. So let's try some snacks on the Shinkansen. <laughs> so we just got this from the regular Lawson. We didn't buy these at the train station because you should think things are sort of on the pricier side at the station. Mm. Oh. Looks so nice. It, it's like <laughs> you know it's gonna be nice and chewy. Yeah. Okay, so let's do a first bite. Mm. So good. I really like it. Nice soft chewy texture. Just like a regular mochi. Stuck with a really good tasting red bean paste. The quality is really good. And then the black sesame seeds on top. It's like perfect. Creamy. I see like a glazed fresh strawberry, a couple of strawberries in there. I know, the smell, right? Cheers. Mm. I think it has red bean paste along with fresh strawberries. Mm. It smells refreshing. Red bean paste and Oh my goodness. It's so good. It's so like, <laughs> I love that it's so soft. It's like malleable. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I get this. <laughs> Lion train. You know, I actually was expecting a different train. It looks green too. It's like a green, uh, bluish green, whatever. It's but, supposed to be faster than this. Yeah, it's supposed to be faster, but uh, I mean, uh, the max speed that we went up to was around 237. Not good enough. Obviously. Not good enough. Once you go 300 kilometers an hour on the header line, you don't go back. At least we got here safely. Yeah. It was still a smooth race. Nice, yeah. nice cozy ride. Yes, nice cozy ride. Let's go find our accommodation. We just got out the station and lo and behold, our hotel is right <laughs> in front of us. <laughs> We're gonna go check in. This is the closest hotel that we've ever gotten to a station. Yeah. There's a tip here. If you're looking to if you're looking for accommodations, try to book them near the station just it's very easy for you to explore the area. Yeah. We have finally checked in and we're just going to give you a quick room tour just so you have an idea when you come over here on what you can get. So first of all, we have a mirror, <laughs> right? <laughs> and as you walk in, you yeah. have like your closet space, your shoes go in there, mm. you have a couple of hangers. And I really like that they provide this fabric and room freshener. Yes. So you, know, you can just kind of freshen up the room yeah. if you smell uh, smoke in the hallways or a lot of Japanese hotels will have like smoky and non-smoking rooms, but then sometimes you'll also smell smoke in the hallway. Yeah. So, you know. But yeah, this is a lot of luggage space. I think it's bigger than the hotel that we're in yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, and I like they have an air purifier. We have more luggage space. It's a one bedroom, one queen size bed yeah. with some like space up here. You have your, you know, your tissue, your two pillows. Cute little lamp here with a work desk, which is really nice. So we can set up all of our electronics and get some work done, yeah. hopefully. And this is, um, they also provide a hairdryer. And I like that they have like a hot pot. It just keeps the water in here warm. Yeah. And there's a TV and a fridge. Yeah, that's really nice. Oh, mm. let's show you the bathroom first. Uh, standard Japanese, standard Japanese bathroom. Really nice and clean, even though places are small. I just really mm -hmm. love that they're really clean, mm -hmm. which I truly appreciate. Standard Japanese hotel room bathroom, although bigger than the last one we were in. Let's do an arm test and see <laughs> yeah. if it passes. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's yeah. your entire. I still touch it like my Wait. fingertips are yeah. touching it. So it's bigger than. Uh... It's bigger than the last one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice. The view that we have outside. 
with washing labs. It is Amazing. at the train station. Yeah. That is so cool. We're here, y'all. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. And so close to Nico. And it seems like there's a square uh, on the right, or like I see a lot of like lights and a few illuminations. Mm -hmm. Should we like maybe I go take a walk? Just, yeah. Like anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go take a walk. Take you guys along. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the room tour. <laughs> we'll see you outside. All right. So if you're going to do the room tour for me, let's do the Wi-Fi speeds. Let's go. <sighs> Whoa. What? Oh my goodness. These numbers. <laughs> Unheard of. I've, I've never on the road right? have experienced such high numbers. Yeah. Down and up. Yeah. Being this fast. Possibly because it's a business hotel. I'm not sure, but this Possibly. has been yeah. the best yeah. Wi-Fi connection speeds ever. Possibly ever. tried ever. Yeah. In Amazing. almost a year of travel. Yeah. Wow. There's also seems to be a little yeah. night farmers market. Yeah. With like some uh, like sweet shops and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you, you have uh, independent vendors yeah. instead of the big chain. Yeah, it's so nice. Actually, it's like a little square. You have yes. trams going down there. They actually have an actual like. It's like a huge projector yeah. in the middle of the square, yeah. and people awesome. are sitting down, eating their food stall, yeah. street food, yeah, and enjoying <laughs> a movie. It's awesome. What a cool concept. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, they're selling yam. Yeah. A beautiful car and yams. Yeah. Killer combo. Yeah. Alright, guys, thanks for coming along today on this uh, journey from Fukuoka all the way to Utsunomiya. 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 But we do have a day of exploration. We're going to be exploring Nikko tomorrow, so do catch us in that video but for today. Thank you for watching, and remember, wherever you go, don't forget to like it. I will catch you guys from Nico. Next on We Wanderless Co. Yeah. It's very peaceful. Mm. It is, the it sound is. of the, the river is just very serene. Mm. You could possibly just come here and meditate yourself. Yeah.